Hey, what's up? This is Paul Solt from Super Easy Apps. I just wanted to let you know my new app just launched on the App Store. It just launched today. It's called Super Easy Timer. I've been working on this for about, I want to say seven months. It started as like a, a little pet project and I've had two different interns working with me on this. So we've been sort of slowly making progress and adding features as I needed them. So this is now available in the App Store to buy, and I just wanted to see what that experience is like. So I'm gonna record uh, actually buying my own app and see if I can go through that process. So just click this, and then hopefully I can just use my fingerprint and buy the app. And I should have the app. I don't know if it's going to replace my existing. I'm trying to figure out uh, what this does, but I should see a copy or something. I'm not seeing it. Is this it? Oh, that's interesting. It's not supposed to do that. Oh, no. I've got a problem. <laughs> um, it's not supposed to ask right away to write the app, but that's probably because I'm on a development version uh, and I disabled that feature. So if we click rate the app, what happens? And I think it was supposed to take me to the app store, which is already open. So it's hard to tell if that actually worked, but this is the app right here. And uh, all it is, is a super easy timer. So if I minimize this, I've got a couple other videos, but it's this timer where I can just type natural language. So I use this a lot for writing. I'll write for probably 25 minutes. I like to do the Pomodoro technique. So I can just write 25 minutes and it will parse that and start a timer. Uh, I can also write 25 minute or min. I can write 20 M. I can also just write uh, 25 and that will translate directly to minutes. That's sort of the assumed unit that we use in the app. And so with that, it's just super slick and easy to create a timer. We've got keyboard shortcuts. Uh, you can just click reset and it will reset that timer. And there are some menu options as well. We've got menu bar support in our settings as well as different dark and light modes. So I can switch this to a dark mode or if I wanna go super dark, I can go to charcoal. Uh, we've got this menu bar support. We can keep the timer on top so that you can get access to any of the quick actions. If you aren't ready to start a timer, you can do reset and pause, and I'll just wait for you. So, super cool. Um, it's on the App Store. It's my first Mac app. It's completely written in Swift, which is super cool. And you can customize the alarm sounds as well. So. I like to keep it either in the, the charcoal or the light theme. And I generally keep the, the menu bar off only because when I'm doing videos, I don't want a distracting countdown at the top. So it's really a preference of how you want to use the app. But I love doing this for writing. So when I'm writing anything, uh, if it's something in, uh, in Markdown, if I'm writing an article, uh, so I just finished an article. Uh, I was just using this for that. I've done my press kit and stuff in it. It's just, it's super nice. So that's my new app. You can get it on the App Store right now. It's $2.99 and I plan to sell it for $4.99 later on. So it's 40% off. So if you get it now, you get a discount and we're going to sort of see how this goes. So I use this every day. You may or may not find a need for it, but I find it super helpful. If you want a, a two hour timer, it's very convenient for that. Um, sometimes I have a meeting and I just want to know, okay, I've got a meeting at, let's say one, well, or let's go 1.30. Let's say we have a meeting at 1.30 PM. So I can just type 1.30 PM and it will give me a countdown to that time, which is really useful because I'm very bad at preparing enough time to get somewhere. So if I had a 1.30 meeting, that might mean I have to leave a little bit sooner. So I'd probably set it for 1 p.m. And I could just start it like that and it would give me a countdown so that I know, okay, now it's time to go. So that's the app. Uh, you can type seconds, you can type minutes, you can type hours, you can type days. 
and it's very convenient. Right now it's a single timer, so I just use it. I put it up in the top corner and then I work and I can sort of check in and see how much time I have left. And it's, it's really useful. We also have full screen support and you can just resize this uh, to get bigger. And then if you click this button, we'll go into full screen mode. And I've used this for exams at RIT and there's some other professors I know who are using this for their office hours to really limit students to 15 minutes. So if you ever struggle with kicking someone out of your office and you need a, a timer, you can do something like that and just set a, a 15 minute timer. So it's very flexible. There's sort of this mini compact mode and then there's a, a bigger mode. We just have a, a quick way to switch between them. Uh, it's really customizable and I'm looking for feedback. So if you wanna download this app, check it out on the app store. You can go to the link down below or uh, I might have a link somewhere over to the side that you can click on so that you can get this app. And if you leave a review, it'd be super helpful. Uh, any feedback, you can email me, paul at supereasyapps.com. And thank you for watching. Uh, and let me know down below if you wanna learn more about how the app was built using Swift or Xcode or anything like that on Mac, or if you just wanna use this for productivity, just let me know how you're using it. All right, click the, the like button and I will see you guys later. Thanks so much.